Hello there everyone, uh, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome, welcome to Battletech. Giant stompy robots, but in a tactical setting. Mm, yes. Don't know if you caught the stream, but I did stream this the day it came out, and that was a bit of a disaster because it was my first time on Twitch and I didn't realise it wouldn't save the stream, so <laughs> I crossed the streams, the streams went nuclear very much so. And then I've been kind of quiet on the subject. The stream did teach me one thing. The game has a bit of a loading time problem. Also a bit of stability issues as well. Hopefully those have been fixed by this point. But loading time is a key factor. There was a lot of blank screens and waiting and reading around it actually turns out loading time is in general slow for this game. So you know bit of an odd one there. So that's why this is making the jump to video format. Firstly, we've got to retrace my steps and restart the campaign from scratch. Luckily, I only made it through one stream's worth and I should be faster since I uh, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but more importantly, I can go back in post and I can cut out the loading times. So... That will be just, just just better overall for you guys. Not for me, though. I still have to stick through the loading times. Hmm. Oh, well, no plan is perfect. Anyway, let us begin, shall we, with the campaign. Let us go into the world of Battletech once more. I am Kamea of House Arano. High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Coromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne it was hiring a mercenary skilled enough perhaps ruthless enough to carry the day hiring you i still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it for belief in my cause or just in my money but whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. Okay. Well, we must know is that we believe in money. Hmm. Right, I'm going to be recreating my character from before, the life streamer, I am Mark III, since that's what was dubbed in the chat. Right, uh, it was Majesty of Canopus, um, Gamma Skills Fighting Styles, Clever and Orthodox Tactics. So basically, I tried to recreate myself in here. Immigration to the Orgonian Reach, your family soon established comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Orgonian space. By the time you were born, your family had become a de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. Take a moment to breathe. <gasps> you were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles and ancestral battle mech, an old Blackjack BJ1. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the successor wars, who your parents hired for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. I'm going to have to remake the appearance from scratch, I think. 
Until the day of your 16th birthday when your family died in an accident. The rest of your family died in a freak jump ship accident. After which you discovered they had left nothing behind but piles of debt. After settling everything after selling everything to settle your debts, sorry. You set off on your own, only f with your only your family's ancestral blackjack left to your name. Mm -hmm. And then, out on your own, you fell into the life of a Solaris Gladiator. So you took your skills as a mechanic, famed arena planet Solaris Seven. There, you eked out living as a gladiator, fighting for the crowd in minor arenas, getting by from paycheck to paycheck. You were a low-level champion, down on your luck, and one bad fight away from the gutter. Until Raju heard about you. He trekked all the way to Solaris to offer you passage back to the Agorian Reach and a job with House of Rana Royal Guard. So it was you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Kamea Arano. And that is what brought us to where we are. Now then, it won't have saved this, I do not think, so let us continue here. Yep, yep. And it is a he. Yeah. <laughs> didn't save it. Of course it didn't. And then it was just randomized on the uh, first and last names. Sammy? <laughs> sure. Um, Sammy Begson. Why not? That's not customized. So, let's see. Let's explain this a little bit. So, as I mentioned, we've played through a bit before on the actual uh, stream that I tried to do before I realised that this game just wasn't going to work for me as far as the stream is concerned. That was that one. Eyebrows. Yep, was fine. The hairstyle was... Where was it? So, what's going to happen is I'm going to go through I'm going to be playing this bit seriously, don't worry. But I'll be trying to... Um, I'll try to recount my thoughts and opinions on what was going on, because I got a, fa a fair grip on the situation as we went through. I l at least I like to think so. Um, where was it? It was pretty far in. We also didn't have a tattoo. Let's get rid of that. I think it was that one. And there was also no makeup, I don't think, either. <laughs> We also need a really pasty complexion, sorry. So yeah, I'll be trying to recount things, and at least I have a vague idea of what I'm doing, or what I'm trying to do, as we go. So that's going to help out in general. At least I think so. Um, clothing was... That one, yeah. Then it was red lighting, because, you know, we're going to get blown up, so we need red. And then the camera, it doesn't really offer that many options. I think it was that one. No, that expression's not right. <laughs> no. No, I'm not a sly guy like that. I don't smirk and laugh at everyone. No, that's not what I do. That's the one. So yeah, that that seems to be about right. Oh, I'll set the eyes. The eyes need to be brown. Yeah, I think that, that's about as close as we're going to get. So, that is me. Behold me. And, yeah, so I'm going to be babbling insanely, as is my custom throughout the game. I've made a few quick little adjustments, though, to hopefully speed things up slightly. There was a bit of dead time, apparently, according to an article I read. So, I took the article's advice and adjusted a few um, triggers and things, which uh, might help speed things up and smooth it a little bit. It might not. Though the article writers seemed very happy that it, it had been done. So it's like a few seconds per action, which adds up to minutes of dead time in the course of a fight. So, you know, anything to help. Save you. That is all confirmed. So come on, Sammy, let us go. And that is everything. So pretty average, as it turns out. Parting guts and gunnery. So 3-3-2-3. Three, three, three. Nothing special. But, well, to be fair, I am not special either. Okay, right, so we're actually here. So, uh, 
one of the things I was thinking of was like, we have to do voiceover. So, I Toramo is dead, all going reach is left on certain crossroads. Once prosperous, is now his kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santani Santiago Espinosa, brother in law of the late High Lord, is convinced that a slow moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would conscript the house. Oh, I've got to read faster. However, the High Lord's hair, the no more lady, blah 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Determined to rebuild the reach without transforming to an authoritarian space, she refuses to act her uncle's directive and rebukes him. On the morning of um, the lady's ascension to the throne, her royal captain of the guard, Vast Drew Massive Montgomery, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Coria City. I actually read that one in time. Huzzah! So here we go. We'll, we've uh, loaded into our first map. We've got the cutscene. We've got me shaped. And now we are in. By the way, in any story, watch out for the one that wants a radical reform and sweep away the old power that's not doing anything. They tend to be ones to look out for. And that was my feeling going into this the first time through. Oh, we're in a loading screen. Hang on. Honestly, I don't think the loading screens would be as much of a problem if, um, you know, I actually got the loading screens. <sighs> and even then on the loading screens when it's supposed to be animated saying, hey, I'm doing a thing, it still drops to zero FPS. And it's like, why are you doing this? Every time I'm in a loading screen in this game, it's like... Uh, at least four fifths black screen at zero fps and then it shows me a static image and then it's again at zero fps so that, until it works things out which is why i went with the video the loading screens are absolutely awful well actually loading screens are fine it's the loading times that are absolutely awful that's that's why i can't stream this game command interface initiated Okay, so we're going back to the tutorial. WASD. Okay. Yes, I know the thing. Let's select me. Oh, it, yeah, it won't do it until it's um, satisfied I know how to do stuff. Um, when I was doing the stream, it was like I was trying to do individual voices for these guys, and it's like I kept forgetting. So, I think I gave this guy a bit of a deep one. Okay, I am Mark III. I had the Asperos Reef at Yards. Rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. Standard field tests. You know the drill. More importantly, though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you out here to do. Now, do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. Right, this is where I trip over and fall flat on my face. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't confused honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. I brought you here because I, I can't do voices very well. That's why it's a bit of a pain. I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamati's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Camilla's safety during her coronation process. Also, it'd be nice if all this was voice acted, but only key bits are so, anyway, looks like the actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. I really wish they'd voice acted everything. Yep, one dead Irby. Poor Irby. Good, your work guns are working at least. Yep, I noticed that. Okay, we've got another target dummy coming in. It is a vehicle. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud. And I have no doubt she will be uh, just an effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. I'll rest easier once she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria. Well, she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth be told. Yes, I'm the best. Ha ha ha. That's why I was in the gutter at Solaris. Hmm. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. See that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Put some hurt on it for me. And then, when it turns, take it out with a rear angle shot. 
After it's down, we'll keep moving. Kamea is like a daughter to me. And her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. Okay, so we shot the thing. My apologies, this is all this early stuff is Victoria tutorials. No punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. Unfortunately, this game does fall into the trap of like making you the special snowflake. Yes, I am the greatest. Despite my backstory saying many other things, I am the greatest and he would rather have me by his side than practically anyone else. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with Orgarian politics. Sorry, Oregon, Oregon politics, yeah. But the Reach was badly shaken by High Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power and Kamea belongs on the Cormorant throne. Go ahead and fire out your jump jets, kids. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there, near the edge of the lake. So, jump jump a jump and this is where things start to go wrong unfortunately so jump, jump Wee! yeah i was afraid of that jump jets build a lot of heat and that was more than your engine could handle head on into that water we need to get you cooled off yeah that that isn't normal by the way the fact that we melt ourselves when we use the jump jets so it's fine for the tutorial, but it's kind of bad in terms of the mech. Yeah, look, warning, plasma leak detected, jump jet malfunction, jump systems damaged, system inoperable until repaired. Hmm. Oh, for the love of all the gods, that's why I insist, what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice, the refit yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It's not that they were trying to process every single royal guard mech in time for the coronation. And I found this highly suspicious. It's like um, re the, the re a refit yard was trying to see every single Royal Guard mech before the coronation. Um, I mean, it's one thing if they were just making sure they all had their la their layers of polish and sorted out, and they all shone in the sunlight. But refits, mechanical stuff, coupled with the fact that I just burned out my jump jets due to a plasma leak. That I found highly, highly suspicious. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before we take it out to the Cormont Road. Oh, at least we cooled down. Or press V to cycle through melee targets. Um, so yeah, melee target reticle, or press V, and then press the attack button. Hello. Engaging physical attack. Oh. oh no, I actually kicked it in the ship. Crunch. Good hit. At least that's solid. Alright, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. So let's go ahead and sprint up this way. Full throttle. Off we go. Yeah, this does feel like a bit smoother than it did um, last time. Those changes helped, I think. Congratulations, Iron Mark III. Your blackjack is combat ready as we can be. As it can be. Given the circumstances. For its worth, I hope my suspicions turn out to be unfounded and we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. Except for the fact my jump jets have apparently melted a giant hole in them. So, you know, apart from that... Alright, it's time to move out. Lady Arana is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. <laughs> uh, once again, it's laying on the whole special snowflake thing. An impressive display! Uh, well, I've, I've, I guess I've got the foundations down? <sighs> I am Mark III. Allow me to introduce Kamea Arano, the soon-to-be High Lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? Um, now, I, I'm even worse with female voices than I am with male voices, so you'll have to forgive me here. Uh, how did I do, Victoria? Um, 
For the time being, my father has summoned me to Picton Docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of... That, that's not a female voice at all. And a tour of the family... Wait, isn't she Spanish? Uh, I can't do a Spanish accent to save my life. No, I I'm not even going to try. I tour of the family if he asked to preside over before the coronation. Behold, the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A fount of tedium that never runs dry. <laughs> yep. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father, and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customised monstrosity, you pilot. <coughs> that, that's the other reason I don't do voices. I often get them wrong and do nasty things to my throat. So, ha ha ha. Bold words, cousin. But the only victory you'll be, they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending the throne today, but my cargo is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. And there's too much stuff without blooming voice acting. You know what, if I keep doing this, I'm going to drive myself crackers. So, chuckle, chuckle. <clears throat> we'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney grounds, Sir Raju. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland, along the Comet Road, as is the Avrano tradition. Aye, Kamea. We'll get you there in one piece. I am Mark III, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Yes, sir. Don't cross the streams, and remember to take the cheesecake out of the oven before it melts. Yes. That's... yes. Mission successful. <laughs> I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the Council deliberates while our economy falters and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orana will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! Well now, that cutscene was, uh, well, it, it kind of validated a lot of suspicions immediately the first time I saw it. It's like, hmm, you'll have to fight against your brothers. Oh look, there's incoming orbital assault units. People are fighting. And it's, you know, it, it's a coup, basically. I mean, that, that cutscene was, made it kind of obvious. They're not even trying to hide it, quite honestly. But we, the player, know about it, and that we know that things are serious, but in the game, the characters are not quite up to speed yet. But, but you'll see. Here we go. Command interface initiated. Okay. I'm going to miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead. The city gates, and my future all laid out before me. Wait, what is that smoke? A guard post. One of the small ones that dot the roads leading to the capital. But the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't 
like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. So, yeah. So we got unexplained fires first. very close to the capital. So that's... And there's no sign, sign of any kind of emergency signal. So, yeah. Some sort of explosion. Looks recent, too. Do you think it was an accident? Not a chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Camille. Right now. And so the penny drops. Very quickly. Yes, I think you're right. There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Thank you, Raju. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Yeah, one of the cool things about this game is um, the detail of it. The mechs, the buildings, all that stuff. Pretty darn good. Round three. Okay. However, um, something I was suspicious of, but I didn't actually mention it in the stream, is how these guys aren't reacting to the massive smoke column, which has been there before we stumbled across it. So, you know, they must have known that that smoke was there. On my way. So let's just keep on moving up. Moving out. And there we go. Right. House of Rano Guardsman. Hail Mastiff. Hail Lady of Rano. We were preparing for Lady Arana's coronation parade when we got word of a disturbance along the Cormorant Road. Oh, is that why you weren't moving? Mm. A guard close behind us was attacked, so Bradley found evidence of laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye, all the way to the southern gates. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll fall in behind you and guard your sex. Tell me something, guardsman. If the road is clear, why is your battle mech damaged? <laughs> Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but that is important right now. We need to worry about Lady Rana's safety. Now, my lady, if you'll come with us. Um, especially, well, he's a, he's a guardsman, and yet they were all the mechs were being refitted. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech that would have sent you out for parade duty in that condition. I'm your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Yep, yep, she's straight on to it. Damn it, girl, we don't have time for this. Take them, kill the old man of the mech warrior, but leave Lady Arado alive. Fall so, back, yeah. Get behind us. So, yeah, you, you can see how this is all going. Hello, Panther. Okay, so. We are starting the first actual fight. We've got damage. these two units here. That guy's just standing there. This is the, um, it turns about combat phases, different maximum different phases, lighter units generally move faster than heavier ones. I'd like to point out, by the way, Mastiff has actually got something which allows him to move um, one phase earlier than he should, so his medium actually moves at the same speed as some as most light units. But you can reserve units, make them fall back and operate at a later phase than they would normally. Okay, the Mastiff. I've got your back. Um, he's already moved and done a thing. So you know what, let's actually, um, reserve. So the enemy mech's going to move and then I'm going to have all three of my mechs do things. Oh, he's backing off slightly. And he's shooting at my lady that I'm supposed to be protecting. Oh, shame on you. Boo, good sir. Boo to you. Talk to me. Yep, which means I'm just going to go get Punch Happy on your ally. From this direction, please. And just go ahead and go murder him. To hell with the weapons. Yeah. You're having fun with that, aren't you? Okay, let's move me in and finish the job. I like the melee in this, but I should also point out this is not because it's super damaging that these units are actually falling over. Oh, that didn't actually do it. Oh, 
In fact, oh, I missed. That's why. Um, it's because our erstwhile opponents actually have a trait on them, which is Ramshackle. This unit has been kept in such poor condition that it barely holds together. It carries only 25% of the normal armor. So, it's actually got reduced armor. Also, and it's, it's in cover, so melee is better than ranged weapons. Sometimes. Yep, punch him straight through the torso. Down he goes. You chose the wrong side. However, the that enemy mech over there actually backed off a bit, which is kind of weird. How can I help? Well, it's, it's not weird. It's more I didn't expect it to do that. I no, can't move there. Move there. Okay, if I move there, I can actually turn. Problem is, he's actually in, he's actually behind cover. So if I click like that, then I can see the accuracy. Um, it's actually pretty darn high. So you know what? Let's, let's do do it. Let's do that. Let's actually shoot some guns at this one. Triggering an alpha strike. Yeah, look at all. Oh, jeez. That is a lot of damage, actually. And it knocked out a lot of his weaponry to boot. What's he doing? No, he's moving in to try and shoot people. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, so that leaves me. And my target is damaged on the... This side. So... Here we go. I'm going to be punching in from this side with my personal melee attack. So, hello there. Kick him in the side. Didn't actually take him down. My melee attack is kind of weak right now. So, yeah, fine. Let's go ahead and just hit you again with a, a heavier unit. Come here. LO5 crit, so I, I, I just punched out one of his long range missile launches and he falls over. He's not dead though, he's just fallen over. Which is a bit of a pain for him. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. I can't actually get close enough now because I backed Mastiff off. But I think I can just go ahead and shoot him, can't I? How can I help? Move you over there. Aye, aye. And then go ahead and shoot. And we need to take out this guy. Now, because he's down, I can actually try to call a target. Like I say, I want to specifically shoot him in the in the, in the the gut. I want to shoot him in the head. That kind of thing. I'm just going to shoot him in the gut, so... Confirm. Thank you for making me do that, son. And there he goes. That's one less hostile on the field. Okay, so we've, now we've got a new person. Alexander... Madeira. Uh, come here! Come here! Can you hear me? What an awful voice for that guy. Alexander, we were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardsmen, tried to take me prisoner. It's happening here too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Corsa's house guard just got gunned down in front of me. The Tony Pavilion is a slaughterhouse. I won't let these seditionists, or whoever they are, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push on the capital. I'll take the throne by force if I must. Go to Rotora Township, to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rally point. I heard Lord Decimus send his house guard there a few minutes ago. Somebody's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet me at the tawny grounds. Be safe. You heard him, Mastiff. Rotora Township. We'll go there, rally our fighters, and march on the southern gate with an army at our back. you got to trust a guy on the inside who sounds like that, haven't you? <laughs> hey, fun's where you find it. Kamea, I know you and Lord Madeira are friends, but we can't take what he told you on faith. Right now, we don't know who we can trust. In this case, we do. Alexander has been my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life. And yours. Now take me to the armory. As you command, my lady. Traitors <coughs> in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. <coughs> Follow me. Keep close and remember your training. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. On my way. <sighs> Flipping voices. I'm getting a sensor trace. 
So yeah, this is where it cheats you a bit about sensors. Because I know there's enemies over there, but I don't know what they are. So it just tells me they've got their vehicles, they're in a, a weight class for them, and that's all I know. Observe movement, and move on. And they're moving around a bit, but it's only vehicles. It's not going to be much of a problem. But it's, um, because we're not actually in a fight yet, it's giving me some choices about things. So, if I move to here, I'm going to shoot at that thing. Roger that. Hello. I've got another blip on my sensors. And once again, these vehicles are ramshackle. Vehicles are also weak against melee, by the way. So if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and step on it. Not going to though. Let's see. Let's own. Let's just do an AC-10. The ACs can ventilate vehicles with the armor at this level. So see, just tap, off it goes. Though admittedly, if it misses, that's um, another matter entirely. But, you know, there you go. I just have to get through all of this. Oh, they took a shot. Lost an evasion. But evasion yes, makes you much harder to hit, so that's why you want to keep moving as much as you can, as well as get cover where you can as well. So, like, I'm going to move here I'm with on. Kamea. She's in trees, so she's got cover. She's moved, so she's got evasion. And she's got two multiple targets, so I'm going to engage multi-targeting mode. So let's click on Scorpion as target A, and the other one is this one back here. There we go, target B. Okay, so we can shoot at multiple targets. The SOMs are pretty bad, actually. Target B, B, and B. So I'm firing a, an SOM volley at the tank, and lasers and LRMs are going after the enemy missile carrier at the back. So, let's see how that works out. Okay, the tank blew up from the SRMs, and the, oh, yep, ventilated by the missiles before the LRMs even got, sorry, before the lasers, before the LRM even got there. So that's absolutely fine. And I am unfortunately a bit too far away to generally help out. So, there you go. There's only one more vehicle here. I must admit, though, um, part of what I was doing in the stream is I actually managed to fail the upcoming engagement by getting one of my units killed. Completely by accident, mind you, but it, it did happen. So I'm not going to hide it. I may not have the footage because, you know, I'm, I, am an, I am a professional. But it did happen. And I'm not going to try and conceal that fact that I actually managed to fail and die on... A tutorial mission. So, you know, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> I actually died here. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, Tell actually, to, now that I think about it. Um, can't, I can't get any kind of targeting. So I might as well actually move up. Oh, it's because I've... It's because I've only got sense of contact on it, that's why. You have my attention. Affirmative. Why has I only got sense? Oh, it's because it's behind something. Oh, there. Nope, I saw it for a moment and then it's, I lost it again. Can't shoot, so I'm just going to have to brace. Aha! You moved! And you're doing things. How dare you. Well, that was only a glancing hit, so that's okay. That means I can use Mastiff just to run him up there and do wonderful things to this enemy vehicle. So, ha ha ha, I'm going to kill you. Just a little bit. I'll be gentle, don't worry. 90% chance to hit and I'll add a laser to that as well, just in case. Nope. I've noticed, um, I've never missed actually with a cannon when I've turned it against the vehicles. Um. Yeah, we're, we're too late. The entire place is kind of like... Um, yeah. I didn't actually spot this before, quite honestly, but... Um, I assumed this place was just ruined, but if you look, actually, those are wrecked mechs. So, basically, the entire forces that gathered here have been wiped out. But that's what's left of a catapult right there, I think. Yeah, that, that's a catapult. 
Uh, what else is in this junk pile? I think that's a Jagger mech there. That's, another, that's a Blackjack. Pretty sure. Don't recognize that one. I think maybe a Locust. And that is a... I think that's another Jagger mech. So, so yeah, the forces we were trying to re reunite with are all a little bit on the dead side. So there's no hope of doing anything with that. I'm listening. Talk to me. Okay, let's see. I can't really move up too much, so I'm going to reconvene my forces here, and then we'll just advance. Come here! Come here! Do you read me? It's Espinosa, your uncle. Do you hear me? House Espinosa is accepting the throne. It can't be my uncle, Victoria. Come here, I just watched an SBO to Balmac plow through an alley full of civilians. This is happening, and it's happening now. Yeah, of course it is. Any kind of overthrowing is going to have violent civilian murder. Your loyalists have fallen back to the market districts. That's where they're making their stand. What's left of the Royal Guard is doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, guards, no. And that was an inconvenient time for it to stutter. <laughs> yeah, things aren't quite right with this game still. Hmm. Okay. It's over, Khmer. Your ascendancy, the Arano legacy, all of it. Victoria, what have you done? You know, Khmer, for years I loved you like a sister. And then my father helped me see it. Your family's complacency. What it's done to the Reach. Our nation dwindles like a dying star, and House of Rano is to blame. <coughs> yeah, right. My father offered you a path to glory. I had a fought under your banner proudly, served as your strong right hand. It was like a knife in my heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria. I taught you better than this. You taught me lies. Come here for the love that I once bore you. I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare the old man and his mech warrior if you stand down now. I don't want to see you hurt, but you cannot be allowed to rule. I'll see you hanged for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You are traitors to the Reach, and I'll fight you to the last. Then you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but you've cost your royal escort their lives. What a friendly person. <laughs> Ow, my throat. Attention! All Espinosa forces. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions, and you will have me to deal with. Okay, so we've got an enemy lance that's kind of dropped in. Three enemy mechs confirmed. However, they are all shoddy, just like everything else, so... They're doing a coup, but it's like they've just slapped the stuff together more than anything else. They're not really properly battle ready. But then again, neither is my stuff either. Well, Mastiff's good. Um, Kamea's good. My mech, a little bit damaged. As in the jump jets melted themselves. So, you know, that's going to be fun. So, okay, we've got a spider, we've got a locust, and we've got a cicada. The cicada is the heaviest of the bunch, but they're all, they're all fast mechs, basically. They're not very particularly combat-oriented. One thing I can do, though, however, is multi-target. I'll do that again. So, target A is going to be the cicada. Target B is actually going to be the, the spider. Oh, the spider's actually got... Um, actually, it's just flat out not not worth targeting the spider. The cicada is more dang is more pa well, it's a bigger target. I've got better odds of hitting it. Giving him everything I've got. And I think I hit the spider anyway. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Enemy locust is going to run around. But stuff like that is why I'm. I'm staying to the trees. I don't want to give the enemy any advantage. Ooh. Ow! It jumped in and damaged itself, but it also tore my... 
You bugger! Even though it's on the wrong side, that spider actually tore off the cannon arm on the Centurion, so I've lost the AC-10. <laughs> oh, that that's just mean. That is just mean. You know what? Fine. If you're going to do that, I'm going to... Yeah, look at that. He's lost all the armor on his legs. But if you're going to do that, Copy that. I'm going to do this. Hello. Admittedly, the camera likes to go into that building there. Um, it did that repeatedly during my live stream attempt at this. That particular building seems to be a bit of a sticking point for it. It loves to set the camera into it. Where is that mech even going? Oh, it's sh shooting her in the back. I see. Well, what I really want to do... What I really, really, really want to do is... I can punch the cicada. That spider's rather messed up. You know what? Let, let, let's go ahead and punch as a, an insect. Sure. Hello. Yeah, kick it in the face. Incoming transmission. Uh. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units stand down and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist and you will be fired upon. Yeah, just like the innocent city my resisted. My father placed his faith in that man. I gave him my trust. I'm listening. I'm on the move. Well, yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of brawling this out. Oh, yep, there we go. Punch him. Splat. They've got very little armor. But I might as well just take advantage when I'm this close. Because they've got no protection, really. No doubt as the armor gets better, I'll have um, more chances to, you know, the enemies will get more tolerant to getting punched and kicked around the place. But right now, they're so weak. If I can just land the hits, then why wouldn't I? Take off the AC-2s. The lasers can do. The AC-2s are lousy at this kind of range. But... Yep, there it goes. Come here! Do you read me? Oh, it's the well-spoken person in the city. Alexander, thank the gods! I thought I'd lost you when the bombs fell. You very nearly did, Kamea. The city is lost. We have to get off this planet, and we need to do it now. I can't abandon Cormodir. This is my home, my birthright. She's kind of caught upon that, actually. The battle's over, Kamea. Lord Madeira has the right of it. It's time for you to run, escape from this madness, and live to restore the Coalition another day. Yeah, you're right. My uncle has one. The Reach is his. We'll mourn it later, the both of us. For now, you need to move. I have a dropship waiting at Shepherd's Pass. I'm on my way there right now. Hurry and meet me there, please. We're we're on our way. You get to that ship, Alexander. I mean it. We will not lose you and my throne on the same day. Oh, she wolves him. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, this is the fight where I actually managed to get myself killed. Um, it's not these two, it's what comes after these two. So this is... I, I really wish I actually had my flipping cannon right now, because those are two vehicles. So if I had my cannon, I would be able to ha very happily murder them. But I don't, so I can't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. And all because that blooming spider tore this mech's arm off. Hmm. It's a rather serious hit. Just losing my entire cannon arm like that. Okay, let's see. Let's move me up to 
here, I suppose. Got to, even though I am supposedly the special snowflake and the greatest warrior, and they want, they are very happy to have me along. Notice I don't have any special abilities because I'm just rubbish. <laughs> so, you know, I am the greatest, except the fact that nearly everyone else is better than me. Let's take off some of the lasers, actually, and just go ahead with the cannons. AC2s, these, not AC10s. Not sure if they're going to be enough, but we're against the striker, not the actual tank, so. Yeah, the striker is a lightly armoured, kind of flimsy missile carrier. So, the AC2 was enough to ventilate it pretty thoroughly. And that leaves this tank, which I think I'm going to turn lasers on, actually. The SRMs might not be able to do the job. Um, the SRMs are actually about the same. The problem is that this thing builds a lot of heat if I fire that much at once, and it's really unnecessary, so... Let's use double laser. Actually, d lasers were probably enough by themselves. Yeah, one laser was enough by itself. The second one didn't do a darn thing. I was right to stop the missiles. Okay. Right. Now then. Orders. Here's the problem. Because um, Mastiff is somewhat damaged. He's not actually lost any real torso armor. Well, he's lost a fair bit. But he's not exactly... Um, he's not on his last legs yet. Roger. Let's put it that way. But we actually face our first serious threat in the next bit. Yes, I hear you. Well, somewhat serious threat, maybe I should say. I'll make it happen. It's not, 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 still not a very serious threat. <laughs> Let's be honest. It really is not. Unfortunately, it's forced me into combat time. So that's why I'm having to move a bit slowly. I wish it switched over to just general movement because there's nothing here yet. But, yeah, here we go. Victoria, this is your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Do whatever you must, betrayer. A headstrong fool to the end. Damn you for this. Uh, Captain House, destroy them. Mastiff, my cousin, all of them. Leave no survivors. Okay. And... Da, da 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 That's why we were in battle time. That's an enemy Wolverine over there. Who is noticed, by the way, he's not actually lacking as much armor as the units we've been facing up until this point. There's also gun turrets up on top, by the way. But yeah, this mech has actually got a fair bit of armor on him. And this is the guy that killed me previously, the last time I came in. So... Luckily, though, I've got evasion and stuff like that. But the uh, turrets can't be discounted. They're actually really fragile if you, once you get past the armor. But they still have um, enough ranged weapons to cause problems. And here's me without my Blumen Auto Cannon 10. Which, I would, don't, which I'm going to keep saying. I wish I still had that thing. I just uh, don't. So, yeah, look. Uh, Wolverine, he is shoddy. 50% armor. And then we've got a couple of um, turrets, which are weak against melee, but they are up on top of concrete posts. I can't actually get at them. But they've got multiple lasers and machine guns each. So, in fact, this guy's got a cannon and an SRM. These guys have got lots of nonsense. So, let's try to knock one of these guys out, at least, I suppose. We, we've got full firing against this one, so let's alpha strike with what we've got against this particular turret. Oh, so close to killing it. So very close. Didn't quite do it, though. And even though the Centurion was evasive, he still took a bunch of hits from that. You're gonna regret that. Okay, let, let's actually get uh, Kamea in front. She'll still be in forest, so she'll be covered. Sounds good. But her mech is in much better state than the Centurion currently is. So she'll get in the way, basically. And then I think we're going to use multi-targeting. That turret is almost gone. We need to do something to it to try to knock it out. 
that tower is, I think, too far away in general. So, so we're actually going to also lock onto the Wolverine. And we're going to unload on it as much as we can. Yeah, the LOMs need to go for that. Uh, B, 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 B. One laser and the LRM launcher are going after the turret. Everything else is going to unload at the Wolverine. And this is another reason why I didn't fire everything. Because if I'd fired everything sooner, I would have had a lot of reserve heat built up still, most likely. I'll do what you ask. There we go. One turret down. That's removed its weapons. And the rest of it is going straight into the Wolverine. Structure. Ev evasion. Unsteady, and it's lost its evasive bonus, which means that I can actually move my mech around now. There's no real forest for me to take cover in, sadly. Well, there's some over here, so let's actually go over this way. And then I'll unload my own weaponry as well. The Wolverine's lost its evasion, though, so if I go for him, 